which may be more flooding in some areas, Soundside flooding in particular. Uh, I want to show you right now, I've got some video coming out of St. Augustine of some of this sound, uh, excuse me, this storm, storm surge flooding that we are seeing here. Uh, this is, looks like right along the bay there in St. Augustine, so the water coming up here. We've seen some video that's actually much more dramatic than this, but uh, this is the type of thing where if you're caught in this, you're not going to go anywhere, and you can only hope that the water doesn't get to a point where your life is really being threatened. So uh, again, please, please keep in mind that this is the big killer in hurricanes, and this is why when you have been asked to evacuate, you need to take it seriously and not uh, think that you know what's going to happen based on your past experience with hurricanes because every storm is different and the way that this storm is running up along the coast uh, makes it a very different storm. All right, so here's the forecast track and the intensities from the National Hurricane Center. Uh, one thing about the storm being offshore is that it's able to maintain its strength longer, so it's expected that it's going to be a Category 3, slowly coming down to a Category 2 as it starts to really get more involved with the coastline there in South Carolina and in North Carolina. It could still very well be a Category 1 hurricane. If it's farther inland, obviously that's going to bring the intensity down a little bit more.